Hello, my name is Philip Lowndes. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm going to show you my oyster catcher automaton. I'll show you how it works and I'll also show you the various parts and what they're made of and how I put them together. So enjoy the video. Okay, here are the parts. We have the base plate made out of 6mm ply, painted, varnished with acrylics. It's got 2mm mm brass pins in it for the hold the parts together. Onto this go four PTFE rollers. Just fit onto those pins, slightly recessed into the back so that the parts can't get behind them. And then we have the main cam. She's got an internal cog cut on a laser cutter out of uh, American cherry wood uh, with a backing of 1.5mm ply. All again varnished with acrylics. This one's using the wax acrylic. It's got a bit run so that just fits and floats in there. Then we have the crank made out of walnut on a brass pin with a PTFE washer. The actual cog is made from American cherry wood with a backing of 1.5mm ply, again cut on the laser cutter, with an insert of uh, Delrin then for good lubrication. That just press fits into the back, just need to make sure that the gears mesh. And we press it in place and all being well that should then Good. And then the cam follower fits on that. Oops. Popped off. There we are. Then we come to the bird. The bird's again American cherry wood. I use that because it, it machines and carves very nicely. Nice fine grain. It's also very easy to export to other countries because there's no CITES problems with it. And uh, you have to order it, you can't get it just from the shops, but uh, you can buy big planks of it and it goes a long way. The head, the head again, American cherry wood, made all in two halves put together. Uh, the cog and the beak are actually made on the laser cutter out of 1.5mm ply, which is then laminated together and shaped. And the front, again, American cherry wood, nice grain to it, again, finished with a matte acrylic over two layers of gloss. Inside is machined to hold the various parts in place. I've already fitted the uh, the main leg there and the cog. So now we need to fit the bird onto the front piece which fits in with brass pins which can be difficult because you can't see the hole. So it's a matter of feeling for it. I think we've got it. Yep. Good. There's the body. Much more difficult is to fit the head, of course, because we've got to get the cog in the right position. And then I've got to ooh, get that pin. Ah, need another set of hands, really. Try that one. Sometimes you have to try it a couple of times. So See if that works. Now we need to fit the front onto the base and we have to connect them with the other leg which then works as the control rod so that just threads through there and then long nose pliers always useful. That fits into a hole in the body if we can get it in it's a bit of a tight fit. There we go. Now then, go 
something down and fits. Now we just need to click the back into the front with this connector going into the cam follower. There's a little hole in there for it to connect into. So we just need to connect that together. Again, where would we be without the long nose pliers? There it goes. Click it together. There's the finished bird. Good. I just need to cut the pins off now to make them flush. Uh, label the back, of course, and glue the back in place. And then it's finished. Excellent. made some plans and instructions for making automata. Down below you can find the link.